everyone, how's it going? It's Vasco from the Angular University. In this lesson, we are going to see how Angular 2 HTTP can help us deal with unstable backends that occasionally return errors by allowing us to retry certain operations. Let's have a look. In this example, instead of calling the normal load lessons method of our backend, we are calling this suspiciously named load flaky lessons. Let's have a look at the backend to see how this is implemented. We can see here that basically this service only works one time out of two. So one time out of two, it will return the valid result containing a lessons array. And another time out of two, it will fail and return an HTTP code 500. Let's see this in action. So if we load our page, we can see that the lessons are there. If we click multiple times on the retry button, we will see that eventually the call will fail and the lessons list will be empty. We can work around this issue by using the RxJS retry operator. Let's try it out and see how it works. So let's say that the call fails once. What RxJS retry will do is that it will subscribe again to this observable, so it will emit a second call until it gets a successful response and if the second time around it still gets an error it will subscribe again to the original observable until it gets a successful reply so we can see here in this example there were four network calls in error until the fifth one finally completed retrying again immediately when a network call fails is probably not the most frequently used strategy Usually you want to wait a little bit, maybe just a couple of seconds until you retry again, because many times these problems are intermittent. So what we can do is, instead of using retry, we can use for example the retry when operator. Retry when gives us as input an observable of errors. So this is a stream of the errors that occur in our original observable. So what we are supposed to do is to return another observable. This is a very common pattern in many RxJS operators. We are supposed to return an observable that when that observable emits a value, that's the moment to retry again the call. So let's simply return an observable that takes the error and delays it for five seconds. This means that we do a call, it fails, we wait for five seconds and then we retry. Let's see this in action. If we hit the retry button, we can see that the request fails. Then we see here that there is a delay here of five seconds. The request fails again. Again, we wait for five seconds and at the third time around, the request completes and the data is injected in our template. This is a good example of something that is really simple to do with RxJS that if done in another way would be rather complicated to implement. Let's give another example of something that is very easy to do with RxJS that it's very difficult to do otherwise. Cancellation. It's coming right up in the next lesson. 